you haven't been at the at the camps, but there's a quarterback competition that's very interesting. And I want to give you the update and get your impression. So as we talked last week, it was a big win for Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, Trey Lance looked nervous. He was uh, really overthrowing. He didn't do that in this practice. He took a little off. It's like a pitcher who was trying to throw 98, dialing it back to 92. He was much more accurate. He made a few wild plays, rolling to his left, fading away, throwing deep. He's a really good athlete. Um, and the one thing that was interesting about it, too, is that he got three three times the amount of reps that Jimmy Garoppolo got. Garoppolo threw six passes in the practice. Lance threw 18, and he was really good. So wh- what do you make of that? The fact it seems like he's improving quickly and he's getting prepared uh, on fast forward. Wow. Yeah. The thing that, so you're saying he got three times the reps that Garoppolo did? Yes. Three times. Well, I, I, you know, but they didn't bring Garoppolo out after the practice? No. No, it was defense. It was a defense day. The Ryans and some defensive players. That's how they organized. Fine, but I mean, wouldn't you like to ask Jimmy, what'd you think about only getting a third of the reps? Yeah. Um, I don't know, Iggy, I don't know what it means. I bet if you talk to Shanahan about it is, you know, we know what Jimmy does. We wanted to see what the new kid does is don't read anything into it. That's what he would say. Sure. And Iggy, I don't know if you can read anything into it. I, I, uh, do you think you can? Not yet. It happened one time. It's just something I'm noting and I'm going to keep track of in the future. If it keeps going that way, then it's a pattern, but it's only been one day. I just noticed it. And, and also there were days you weren't there. Jimmy might have exactly. Been so you can't, you it, could can't be it could be a rotation. It could be a rotation, all that. Yep. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. So what I'm saying is it's something to notice, but it's not something to harp on. So, true. I guess the main takeaway is just how much better he looked from week one to week two. Sure. So he, much he's, better. He's a good quarterback. I think so. I mean, sometimes he holds the ball a lot longer than Jimmy Garoppolo. You'll see him. If he doesn't like a guy open, he'll hold it and go through his progressions. But he's the kind of guy who can do that because he's such a good athlete. Good things happen the longer the play goes. Jimmy kind of freaks out if he has the ball in his hands more than two seconds. So he's different, but he attempts passes. Jimmy really doesn't. He throws deep. He throws hard over the middle, and um, he checks down, which Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't really do. Jimmy still is kind of like gets the ball, looks at a receiver, throws at him. And Got it. he telegraphs his throws. He doesn't throw deep. I think it's a, it's going to happen quicker than maybe I thought. Trey Lance is just so much more impressive that as, as soon as he can come up to speed, I think it's going to be obvious to the whole team that he just – you know, the, we used to talk about the limit of the offense. He's going to increase it exponentially. Oh, I have another question about the two quarterbacks, those two. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> when they throw passes and do stuff in drills, do they do exactly the same? Are they asked to do the same thing or are they asked to do things more consistent with their skills? The exact same thing, which is interesting because w- the way I remember it 10 years ago with Alex Smith and Colin Kaepernick is they were pretty much in different orbits. Kaepernick was doing his own thing at his own pace, and so was Alex Smith. They didn't really work together. They didn't really look at each other, talk to each other. And Harbaugh would spend a lot of personal time with Colin Kaepernick. It was like his personal project. This is like Jimmy Garoppolo and Trey Lance doing the same stuff, working together. And it seems like Shanahan's attitude is if you're going to take this job from Jimmy, you got to take it on his terms and, and, and demonstrate that you're just as good as, at the stuff he already does. So we'll see. Well, I have a question. What yeah. do you think about that? The fact that they're doing the same stuff. Now, I'm t- this isn't like warm-ups and drills. When they get into 11-on-11 11 11 scrimmages, Kyle does call the game differently for Trey Lance. But Well, that's I, what I meant. Yes, he, I meant. he does call it differently for Trey Lance. Now, I haven't seen things like zone reads and quarterback runs. I think that's the kind of stuff they're not going to show to the media. But just in terms of how he's passing, how he can roll out, it's totally different, and it makes the offense much more difficult to defend. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. So, in fact, Kyle appears to be adapting to the two different styles. Absolutely. And I think as this kid shows himself and improves, the entire team is going to get very excited about the the prospect of having him out there, just like Harbaugh was with Kaepernick, because the whole thing that Bill Walsh talked about, the limit of the offense, it's very limited with Jimmy. He does well inside his limitations, but he doesn't move. He doesn't throw downfield or outside the numbers. Uh, He doesn't hold the ball very long. So, there are ways to defend him. With Trey Lance, it's going to be much more difficult once he's ready. Got it. Got it. Yeah. And again, yeah. right, this thing, the limit of – Bill said always to me, my, the quarterback defines the limit of my offense. And what you're saying is 
you think eventually with Trey Lance, the limit will be expanded greatly? I think the best case scenario is he plays like Russell Wilson, that kind of a player, although he's six foot four. The kind of guy where it's not there, he still has the ball and he can scramble around and the play just got even more difficult to defend. Well, that's quite a recommendation because I've told you, I love to watch Russell Wilson work. I love it. I find it so interesting, Iggy. And the thing that's most special to me about Russell Wilson is how he can improv. The way he's so calm and poised and the big plays happen when things break down. It's almost like recess football. I think that's the idea with Lance is that he's going to be able to do things like that. Now, Russell's like the greatest of all time at that, but that Lance is going to be the ad lib quarterback that the Niners haven't ever had. Cause even Kaepernick wasn't that great ad libbing. He could run when you, when you called the run for him, but this guy is going to be like Russell Wilson. I got it. I got it. One more question on the quarterback. You have in a group, you have spoken to Trey Lance. What is he like? Yeah. He reminds me of Fred Warner in the sense that I can't tell that he likes talking to the press. It's a duty. But he takes it seriously. He doesn't come out and try to joke around with us like George Kittle. He's very mature and professional. He answers the questions, uh, not in a hostile way, but not like at length. I think he's very mature and professional in the way he does it. But it's not like he's – I guess he's the way you kind of have to do it if you're a 21-year-old quarterback, right? I don't know. Does he strike you as intelligent? Yes, absolutely. Extremely. Yes, like Fred Warner. Like Fred – extremely intelligent, yes. You know, it's a pleasure to have a quarterback like that. It really is. Absolutely. This guy is a lot of fun to watch in practice. Uh, I haven't gotten – we interviewed him twice so far, so I haven't got a a sense. I haven't seen him smile yet. But um, in practice, he'll make plays where you're like, oh, wow. Oh, my God. And Jimmy Garoppolo is not exactly that kind of quarterback. At best, you'll get a golf clap out of Jimmy. That was a really nice pass over the middle, Jimmy. This guy's like, whoa, did you see him throw while running deep? Amazing. Yeah. It's fun. You would like it. Yeah. You're really enjoying when you're now at occasionally at at live practices. When I watch the videos, it seems like this is where you belong. It's my favorite time of the off to this of the season. I think the, the practices because it's I'm only like one of 10 people who's allowed to watch it. And then all of us go out and try to describe what happened. And I'm pretty good at it. I love it. You know, I can write it. I can talk about it. I can do shows about it. It's fun. Iggy, when you do your videos from down yes. there, yeah. where are, you're not in the press room, are you? Where no, you they still room? haven't opened that up for us. Uh, right? You know when we used to walk down to the press room by Michael Mina's tailgate? There's yes. some like uh, there's some picnic tables. They've yeah. set up a work area for us there with internet and power strips. So oh, I work nice. there, and then I bring my stuff out to the front of the stadium and set up there and uh, film right in front of the the gate, gate A. Whatever that is. Is yeah. that where we used to drive in? Uh, yeah. It's just right across from the parking lot where we used to like, – right, right the front of the stadium. Got it. Got it. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, It'd be nice if they open up the, the, the media room, though. Come on. Iggy, you seem to really be enjoying uh, being there. It's my and- favorite time of the year. And then we didn't have this last year. I'm so excited that we get OTAs in minicamp. 